Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited today to share with you what I have made for Miss Evelie. She is um, over, well, she recently um, has kind of taken some time away from her Instagram and YouTube. But anyways, we were in a swap together um, over on Instagram. And it was a binder mail swap, so I didn't get her back, but um, I had her to create for, if that makes sense. So she had mentioned she liked the Bloom collection amongst a bunch of other collections, and um, I had never actually used Bloom, so I got to pull out my goodies and play. So I used a binder from Target. They used to sell these mini binders, and I just um, covered it with the papers and altered it. So on the cover, I've used this pretty green floral paper, and um, then to cover the binding, I just double layered some like muslin fabric and stitched that, um, but then the stitching, I didn't like how it looked, so I covered it up with this pink velvet trim. Uh, and then on the binding, I just added this pretty bow with this polka dot tool that I got from a friend in a swap, and I just tied a bow. And um, had a cute little fuzzy, um, it's not a pom-pom, but it's like a fuzzy charm on a like little garment pin and um, a gold tassel there. And then the back just has my um, name and channel stamp. And uh, I just tore some paper behind it and stitched straight through to give it a little bit of interest. So, and then the cover, as you can see, I just used a <clears throat> doily that I punched out using, um, I don't know if you guys remember this, but it's by Martha Stewart, and you can buy these um, cartridges to switch out on it, so you can make your own doilies, and so that is what I um, did there, because I didn't have a doily that I liked, um, most of them were too white, and so I wanted it to be like a pinkish color. Anyway, so then I used the chipboards and some sequins. And here's the first um, pocket. And now that I think of it, I might actually put a sticker here. I'm not really sure. Um, so I created this pocket out of the swan paper and did some stitching. And then just made like a little um, punch to pull out. And uh, just some gems and fringe trim. So for the first page, I've created these really awesome um, clips, and um, I got some inspiration from Emily. She's handmade with love to make these small clips, and so she's got a really awesome little video and tutorial on how she makes hers, but um, I just added some stitching, um, some of the chipboard and thicker pieces, and then I've used some gems, and I thought they came out really, really cute. So that's my first uh, little handmade goodie for her. Um, oh, there was a sticker, no wonder. I'm going to have to tape that down or something. I thought it looked a little bit empty there. Um, so for this first page, I have done some stitching on these thickers and these were old so they ha didn't have much stick and so if you stitch through them on a piece of paper um, they will adhere to your project better. So I did that and then I added this doily and some cut aparts from the cut apart page in the collection and some staples. I did these cute um, stapled butterflies um, inspired by my friend Tennille, Paper Milkshake, and then just some really cute um, pearls. And then behind I have been using this gold thread from my friend Tova, so thank you Tova. I've used a lot of it actually. Um, I'm going to have to figure out where you got that. And then I just created this ruffled embellishment and stitched straight through it with this like clear and black heart vellum. And I stitched all around the page. On this next one, I have made this really um, pretty pocket. And so uh, I used like a pinking scissor to give it a fun edge. I've layered up 
some of the cutouts and thickers and then I've used um, pink Nouveau drops so not the greatest job but I'm still practicing a little uh, word sticker and a little banner chip piece and then I have just included um, two Polaroid frames I think these are from open book and then this really cute uh, library pocket uh, what's it called? library pocket <laughs> uh, I couldn't think of the word um, alright and so then this next page I'm going to take it out so I can maybe show you a little better so I've made a vellum page that um, is like a shaker pocket and I can take those out so I can show you um, so I've made a shaker and that was really fun um, my reinforcers are just some glitter pieces that I cut out and punched and when I hot glued them it made them really stiff so that was really kind of cool how that turned out um, and then here I've just layered some paper, um, a cutout from the collection, some hearts, and these are thickers from the collection, and again, some of that gold thread. And then on the back, I have layered a bunch of the chip pieces, fishtailed some banners, and I just love how that looks, and I added a little gem in the lens of the camera. Okay, and then... For this pocket, I am gifting her some of these really fun punch butterflies, again inspired by Tennille from Paper Milkshake. Um, you guys should go check out her channel and subscribe if you aren't already, she's awesome. And so yeah, love how those turned out. So I'm going to package these in little cellophane wraps so they don't get damaged. But uh, And then next I've created these really fun ruffle um, vellums with the hearts again stitched through it with black thread and then I've done um, black and white swans I think I got them from Hobby Lobby and then this is from a Maggie Holmes sticker pack and there's just a bunch of phrases on them so created her a uh, couple of those sorry if you guys can hear that they're cutting a tree down next door I don't think you may be able to hear it, but you never know. Yeah, let's take the pages out. So then this page I've done stitching all along with zigzag. And then when I stitched the pocket, I just did a straight stitch. And um, so I layered this really pretty rose chip piece. This is a cutout that I distressed and then stapled on some of this really fun vintage trim and um, made a little fishtail out of these two little papers and sequins just to kind of jazz it up and then in this pocket I made her memory decks so I'm still new to the memory decks game so mine are pretty simple but I got this really awesome vellum pack or not vellum um, acetate pack from Tuesday morning and I used the yellow polka dot and created a shaker um, out of that and layered a cutout which I stitched in gold thread, another ruffle, and some of the chip pieces and stickers. There's another butterfly and then um, I attached an eyelet and this super cute um, acrylic swan charm and then there's like a little uh, gold feather. And that's from Hobby Lobby and then uh, I layered several pieces so it's nice and sturdy and then stitched my stamp on the back so I hope she likes that uh, that was so much fun on the back of that one I um, did another one of these words stitched on paper I layered a doily. This is some of that pink glitter um, tool from Hobby Lobby that comes in the roll and it's pretty stiff so I like layering it uh, behind things. Um, some pom poms. These are cutouts from a cutout sheet. Some more chipboards and I stitched on everything and then just added some fringe trim. So I love that page. Really springy. And yeah, 
I, I'm sorry, this light is just not the greatest. Um, it's starting to get dark out. Um, and then again, with this acetate, I've made a pocket and I stitched that and kind of did a diagonal cut. And then I layered some paper tool, um, a really big thicker piece and then stitched straight through it. And so that is the pocket really fun. Um, <clears throat> that was my first time making an acetate pocket, so loved it. Uh, anyway, I made her these bag toppers, and I just cut out some of that, like, I don't know, it's like that swoosh paper in the bloom paper pad. Um, here's the first one. I stitched on this little piece that says, with all my heart, and loved this little ticket with the pinwheel. And then I put some gems and enamel dots and some gold thread. And then I attached a little pom-pom paper clip at the top. And so I've just attached these with a little foam on the back so she can take them off and stick them right on her bags, her gift bags. And then here's the other one, pretty similar. Um, I love that little mason jar, so cute. So that is that, and that just sticks back in there. Um, like, where did I attach this to? <laughs> there we go. Um, oh, maybe I'll have to put it back after. Um, and then the last page here, I loved this swan paper, so I had a hard time covering it up, so I figured I'd just use a jumbo clip and put something on there, and I did this really fun stitching, and I made her these two, um, hearts with, like, fringe paper and then a fun stitch and just a sticker word or word sticker and sequins and then attached a little dangly tassel at the bottom so she can use those in her projects and then on the back I've just gifted her a bag of um, glitter gems right. and um, then on the last page I um, wanted to finish it off, so I've added some really pretty uh, velvet trim again and then covered up the seam with a bow and a doily, which I've layered some vellum and the papers on and just did stitching with the more gold thread. And I love these enamel dots. And then I created a little um, envelope with my We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board and made a little velcro pocket and then I'm gifting her some little um, doily centers so she can create like rosettes or flowers or whatever she wants to do with that. So that is my binder mail and um, next I'm just going to share with you a couple other things that I am including in her box because this box is going to a different country since I'm in the US and so I can never just send like something small because I need to make my swap worthwhile. <laughs> so there's that. Um, I created some really, really awesome rosettes for her today and um, I've been struggling with creativity, you guys, and today, like just walking away, taking a break, we went for a coffee through the drive through of course. And um, I came back and I felt so much more refreshed. So just a little tip, if you're not feeling crafty, just walk away for a while and you will get like a renewed sense of like, I don't know, your crafty mojo back, if that makes sense. Um, so I made two different kinds of rosettes. One was with scoring every half inch and then one was every quarter inch. I like the quarter inch ones because they're not as... Um, they're more like flat, and so when I glue things on them, I feel like it works better, but depends how dimensional you want them. Um, so the first one has this cute pinwheel. It just says the best day, and I have put thread. Um, this one I layered, and it just says love this. I love this one. I've been hoarding that forever, so I hope she loves that too. Um, celebrate. Love these gems. Love them. And the gold thread and then this one's just like a little banner the birdie really cute and I don't know if you can tell 
but I have zigzag stitched all along the edges of the rosettes, so really fun. Um, I altered this little notebook for her, and so I've just put a doily, layered some pieces, and put a little flower applique in the deer, on the deer's ear, like a bow. And so it's literally just um, a little notepad that she can write on. And then my card for her turned out super cute. So I had some of these card bases in my stash and just layered a doily. Um, this frame and chip piece from the collection with this bunny. It actually said, love you. But I put happiness over it because I felt like it needed more dimension. Um, this wooden heart, some sequins, thread, this flower I've had forever. I need to start using my flowers again. Um, so yeah, that is my card. And then I'm just giving her a little bag of goodies. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and I'm super excited to send it off to her. By now she will have gotten it. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.